Morning folks, this is Jeff. After a week of constantly overcast skies and some very bad thunderstorms last night, we've got a good sunshiny day. And the panels are producing power and charging my batteries. And I thought I'd give you a little update. We're gonna walk up to my solar room and uh as I mentioned, I've had problems with the grow watts, and I'm still having problems with the grow watts. But they are working to power my home, and now they are working automatically to transition between the grid and the PVs and the batteries, and they're starting this cycle. So let's just walk up to the solar shed, and I'll just make a couple comments about what's going on there in the meantime won't you tell quacker hello quack quack yeah that's right all right guys back in my solar building and uh thought we'd just give you a little update on where i am and the problems i've been having with the grow watts We are off grid at the moment and charging the batteries. Uh, this one's charging the batteries at 60 amps. So this screen is mostly gone. It's charging at 62 amps. This screen gone completely. That's been part of my problems with the grow watts. Uh, but they are powering my house right now. Uh, we were operating from the grid uh, most of yesterday. Well, pretty much all of yesterday other than about an hour. Uh, I guess a, a few hours. But uh, it switched over this morning about 7.30 when the sun hit those panels started making power my batteries are uh, in a uh, alarm condition not fault to have it faulted out and shut off but they are in alarm condition uh, but that's gonna be remedied here shortly when these things charge up you'll notice this inverter is missing. This was inverter four. It's the one I purchased from Signature Solar back in December of last year. Well, it shorted out from the output terminal L to the input terminal L, and I had to remove it. Signature Solar has agreed to replace it. I shipped it back about two weeks ago. We'll see if it anything like the last one they replaced for me which was that one, did the exact same thing. It'll probably be a month before I get it back. This inverter, I've got it off at the moment because the, par uh, the par paralleling cables are too short to reach back over here. So I'm running everything off these three 5,000 watt, grow watt SPF 5000 ES inverters. And I'm able to do that because I'm coaching my wife to kind of change her lifestyle just a little bit and not do certain things at the same time. Whereas before, when we were on the grid, or I had all five inverters, so you could do wash clothes, dry clothes, cook, uh, you know, do it all at the same time. But a couple, couple of problems I'm still having and I'll, I'll go over. One is the comms. The only one that will communicate with my Signature Solar is this one. Signature Solar Tech Support wanted me to update the firmware on these other inverters. and said that would fix the displays. I highly doubt that because they worked for about five months with the existing firmware. I don't know why the firmware uh, would 
be making the uh, displays not work. But at any rate, I have not been able to get these to communicate with my com computer. I used the software and drivers that Signature Solar sent to me. All these, that inverter display is not working properly either. I wasn't able to get it done uh, to communicate, to update the firmware. I managed to get my middle son, who is a IT expert, he does this type of stuff for a living. I got him to come in. He tried to get him to communicate with the laptop, and he wasn't successful either. We actually tried it using my laptop. We used his laptop. We tried multiple cables. Uh, we swapped between inverters. I didn't try this one. This was the newest one. This has the newest firmware. But we tried it on one, two, and five. Inverter four is gone. And we never could get it to communicate. Port would never open up in the COM port. It was in some other device area. Um, I even put a brand new COM board in here. This is one they had sent me to replace another COM board. And I put it in here and it's not even working at all. It could be, I may not have something plugged in all the way at the moment. I don't know, I'll have to check that. This one I've got unplugged because I was gonna replace this one but the screws are stripped out on the bottom, so I wasn't able to get it out. So that is, uh, that's one of the issues that I've got with the grow watch. The displays don't work. This one works on the bottom half. This one doesn't work at all. So I couldn't even program this one if I wanted to. My solar assistant is able to communicate with this one inverter. And I use the values off that and just multiply them times three, kind of give me an idea of what my system is doing. Uh, but I shouldn't have to do that. The other problem I was having was a noise, an electrical noise that was being put back out into the grid input system from the inverters. And whenever I turned the AC input breakers off, that noise would go away. And, and when I say noise, I know it's an electrical noise, but it was a literal noise that would make my breaker panel in my home and my receptacles and my lights literally buzz. So I disconnected from the grid for probably about three weeks and I just manually switched back and forth from solar to grid. Uh, as my batteries charged up, I'd switch over to solar. And as they went down, I'd switch over to grid. But I had to do that manually uh, with a bypass switch, a manual bypass switch on the other side of this wall. But I got to troubleshooting it further the other day, spent a good bit of time with it. And the noise, uh, seemed to have been coming from the filter that I installed on my PV, uh, PV source circuits coming from my panel. Now this just started about three or four weeks ago. So I mean, it, it, it wasn't like this when I installed it. So I had to bypass those filters. And once I did that, the noise interference back feeding into the grid has gone away and I've been able to uh, connect the grid input back to these inverters. And I put my system back in automatic uh, the day before yesterday. And the switching has been seamless. So from that aspect, I've been satisfied with this, uh, with the Grow Watts, but I've just got these, all these little issues and I'm not getting much help from Signature Solar on it. In fact, uh, it's been about two weeks 
since they have given me any meaningful response other than to say, oh, we'll get back with you, which they said that twice over the past two weeks, but they haven't got back with me. So what I'm wanting to do, I don't know if they're gonna do it or not. If they don't, it's just gonna be a sunk cost for me because I'm fixing to change all this stuff out. I wanna send this inverter back, this inverter back, and this one, let them fix them. And they can ship them back to me and I'll use them on a sep another project uh, at a remote location I have if we get them working. Because what I'm fixing to do, and I know it's still a mess in here because I haven't been able to tidy things up and having to troubleshoot, but I'm fixing to put Solar inverters in place of these grow lights. I'm just tired of constantly having to fight them, tired of not having communications with them. I was never able to get the, uh, the dongles to work and connect to the uh, Shine website. And now, as I mentioned, I only, I'm only able to communicate with this newest grow white inverter, which I bought back in September. So that's kind of where I am. It'll be a challenge putting the, the Solarts in because they are much larger and much heavier than these units. So I've got to do a good bit of modification and the wiring's going to be different because they require bigger wires for the, for the Solart. But that's what I'm going to do. I'll post some more updates. Uh, as I start making some progress. Enjoy your day.